Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, <clears throat> I will be reacting to Rain to the final episode of GG Harms. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, no opening this time. So Mm -hmm. Stop! That definitely felt very much ad lib of them. Am I out? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
But it's cute, though. Good work, everyone. Just embarrassed. You sure you want one for yourself as well? <laughs> to say that in front of him? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. It's so good though, but like, oh my God. <laughs> You sure? I mean, the way you was looking at her. I don't know, A.G. Right? You're really good at it.
<laughs> right? I mean, you are her boyfriend. You still have final say before she does anything, even though in a way she also has final say. But what else can he do? He can talk to her. No, we can't.
Yeah. You still need to pursue your dreams. That was so freaking sweet. Oh my god. Okay. The fact that the way her hair looks at really she looks like a bunch of pun of so many things to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is so perfect. We got his dirt planet! <laughs> that 
That was so fucking cute. Oh my god. Like, diabetes. Diabetes. Oh my fucking god. Dude, no, because that was way too much. It was so precious. Oh my god. Like, shut the fuck up. Oh, like, oh, I can't. It's too much. Like, dude, no. Okay, final thoughts on this series overall. I mean, this was a 10 out of 10 for me, regardless of everything. Duh. And yes, having my favorite female say you in this show and hearing her every single week. Yes, just the, the cherry on top, like, made it even extra, 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 extra more special and such. She did a damn good job with us. Like, oh, uh, I just, I, once again, I love when you have seiyus that are good in other shows and then they finally have them and they bring them together in a show together and it's just fucking magic. It's fucking beautiful and brilliant. This was very well done. Oh! <laughs> Right? I like how we got to see everyone aged up in these last couple of minutes. Familiar? <laughs> By this was just once again ten out of ten. Cute as fuck. I mean, every single episode was adorable. I do kind of wish that they would have showed her sister in this final episode as well. They probably did in the background. Um, maybe a little bit older because the fact is we're going from, yes, they're still teenagers. One's in co well, one's an adult in college and one is a senior in high school and, you know, flash forward to where they're adults and, you know, they're both working hard in the entertainment industry. And, you know, the proposal was so cute. Me, like, once again, my, my love and weakness for romance stories and, like, proposals and stuff. I mean, between this and, like, my, okay, my all-time personal favorite kind of proposal one is the freaking, I'm about to say Rising of the Shield Hero. Wrong show. That never had a proposal. Um, the, um, Chivalry of the Failed Knight. That will always, hands down, the first time when I reacted to that show and I got to the ending and, and just, the way he asks it to Stella, I, I, flabbergasted i was on the floor like oh my god i was even after i finished it i was like this is too much hopefully even to this day we have not gotten a season two especially when i reacted to it and i still wish we hopefully get something because i love the crap out of that show it's such a really underrated good ass show and you know i'm i'm a sucker for the romance i'm a girl for christ's sake god dang it but no this is cute i love the fact that every single week we got to see you know Saudi having me go into several different personalities and such all in one every single week. And I love that because it, it's like, okay, with some voice actors, and I'll say actors too, when you're honing your craft and you can do it without even like trying and such, I felt like she did a lot of this without even trying. I even love the little, like when they were, you know, whenever they weren't shooting and such and getting ready to shoot, they were ad-libbing. Like that was so freaking cute. It's so 
I love when people do that. It, it's just something very different. It, it also reminds me of, um, oh my god, what the fuck was the one show with, um, Mama Maru and freaking, uh, Nana Musiki and What's His Face He Plays Levi? That show. I, I cannot remember the name right now because I'm blanking. <laughs> but, okay, the show that everybody relates to where it's like, oh, yes, that is Adulting 101. <laughs> There's a moment in that show where they did, like, a really, because. <laughs> It's, I think it's in, like, the first or second episode. <laughs> like, fucking Mama laughed so fucking hard where you feel like, damn. Like, he was recording this, like, that as he probably had to stop laughing because it, they had to stop recording because he was laughing too damn much and such. And that's what I love about just shows in general where it gets to the point where it's like, yeah, you gotta stop doing something because a joke or something is so freaking hilarious and such. Or me, where, like, if, if it's a character death, I, I cry in that episode and that reaction, and the 9 out of 10 sometimes, because it, it has happened, and I hate when I do it, but and it, it just automatically happens where 9 out of 10, I start thinking about it again while I'm recording something else, and I start crying again, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm like, character death, and everybody's like, no, it's okay, I'm like, no, it's not, like, oh my god. It, it's it's literally the worst thing ever that I do, and I hate that I do it and such. Or my personal favorite thing is like where I feel like someone's gonna die, and most of y'all who ever read a manga or something, Doctor Stone in a nutshell right now. Y'all don't tell me who that is, and until the episode, I get to the episode, and you're like, oh, we couldn't do anything or say anything because X, Y, and Z, and I'm like, you could have told me, you could have prepared me for this. I hope none of y'all have read the manga for Dr. Stone for whatever else we're about to go through when we get to the final series, the final season. Yes. I don't want to hear it, but no, this was such a good show. I really would love to see a second season for this, but it does make me wonder, like, source material-wise, how much we do have left for it. Um, but if it's not, like, a second season, maybe, like, an hour-long OVA, because, I mean, I think everybody really had so much fun recording this every single week and I would love to see these characters come back at least one more time very much almost like uh over the moon for you because I'm still one of those who still is secretly praying that we kind of get a third season even though that that one season or like sort of spinoff series that was like him going working out of school that technically is like a season three but I don't consider that as season three I consider that like season 2.5 so yes third season of over the moon for you please and thank you y'all just like kyoto animation literally announced two shows today so i ain't gonna roll on well no not even two two announcements kana is finally getting a movie and i'm just <laughs> my baby baby girl is getting a movie and we're getting um another thing from the creator who made nichi joe animated and i'm super excited for both even though for the nichi joe show series the city i think it's called i know nothing about that so i'm super excited regardless but no this was a damn good show i'm sad that it's over i'm just happy that i was able to watch this because i fell in love with these characters oh so freaking much and just give me an OVR season two please and thank you but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards the entirety of gg harem if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the metro squad and of course i will see you guys officially all um well you won't really no actually you will yes you'll see me next saturday for the start of fall anime aka uzumaki my most anticipated show as of right now because your girl has been waiting eons and eons for this. Like, it, it feels like I've been waiting 10 fucking years for Uzumaki to finally grace her screens. I am so fucking excited about this next week as it's going to be in black and white and the gore and everything. Your girl's just going to have a good fun time these next four weeks with this show. And honestly, I, I can't. Birthday month is going to be so fucking good. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.